What's up guys, it's VA React back with another video. This time I am featuring Drow and uh, just like my uh, Viper video, we're going to go through who's playing real quick, who's on the Dire, who's on the Radiant, and then we're going to jump right into it. So uh, here I am, VA React, uh, again, um, voice chatting with Honey Badger during this game. Honey Badger is Ricky, I'm Drow, this person hasn't choosed yet. We have Alina, a Chen, and then on the Dire side, there's an Ursa, a Lycan, a Bane, and a Viper, and this person also hasn't choosed yet. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump on in. All right, guys, as you can see here, I uh, put my first skill point on uh, Precision and Aura. I'll explain that Prepare a little later. Uh, I'm doing a Drow hard carry build. So for the hard carry build, I always uh, started off with Slippers of Agility, two of those to get my agility up a uh, circlet which is two to all abilities and uh, some tango and while I uh, run down here so basically Ricky is going to be laning with me for this time and uh, basically it's not a very conventional lane combo but it works really well for us like every time we've uh, we've done a drow and a Ricky lane combo like our team is dominated and so we just kind of, uh, it works for us. But uh, a little explanation about Precision Aura. Uh, basically, it adds bonus damage to physical attacks of the allied ranged hero units on the map based on a, get a based percentage of Drow's agility. And if you hit E and the basically cast this uh, creeps, uh, eh, it will buff the creeps for 30 seconds once you cast it. So what this kind of does is if uh, there's somebody on your team that's ranged like a sniper or a uh, Alina, it'll give part of my agility to them. So it'll basically buff their agility as well. Plus it gives every hero on the, uh, on the Radiant side a little damage buff. So definitely something good to have just right off the start to help your team out. As you can see, Viper here is in lane. So just kind of target him, Dyer's get a few hits on him so he backs attack. off, and then I can get some last hits in here. Uh, being a hard carry, uh, they're very item dependent. Carries as a whole are very, it's a very item dependent class. And so early game, it's really all about that I do Ricky goes in for the kill, gets targeted by the tower, and has to run back because he's too squishy right now. Uh, but carries as a whole are very item dependent. So, like, beginning of the game, you're really just looking to get those last hits and to get your gold build up so you can get some items. The perks of a carry is if you get fed, you get the items that you need. End game, you're pretty much unstoppable. And, uh, yeah, so right here just kind of farming with Ricky trying to get some last hits so I have four last hits if you guys don't know down here you can see where your last hits are your kills your deaths your assists here and at this point Viper is ram back to uh, to base and you can see uh, over here someone basically is dropping down I believe that is Viper so Viper went back, went up to mid, and then drops down. Oh, that is not Viper. That's a Shadow Shaman there. Radiance Middle Tower so I target the Shadow attack. Shaman. And I believe, yeah, I get the kill Don't there. Kill. So he definitely kill. overextended himself <laughs> a little bit. Uh, here I hit basically uh, pop this and get the the buff for the creeps, so the creeps push harder. Uh, Frost Arrow is definitely the second ability that you want to level up if you're doing a drow, like hard carry build. And bottom tower is under basically for that is it adds a freezing effect to drow's arrow, slowing their movement. Structures and are uh, fortified. so basically you can attack heroes and you just kind of keep hitting them, they keep slowing down, and that gives you a chance to kind of chase. Otherwise, uh, you hit them a couple times and they just run away. 
So here, Shadow Shaman is back. Viper is still missing. And there's an Illusion Rune up here still. So get a hit on him, kind of push him back a little bit. Uh, my second or third ability is Gust. And uh, the way I build uh, a Drow is my first goes on Precision, second on Frost, third on Gust, fourth on Frost, fifth on Gust, sixth on Marksmanship, and then Frost, Gust, Frost, Gust. So basically you want to level up Frost and Gust simultaneously as fast as possible while also getting your alt once you hit level 6. I find you. And this, it, uh, I mean, if you can see here the range damage bonus is 18, 24, 30, and 36, so it doesn't, it doesn't stack that great. So, I mean, once you get the 18%, it's pretty much good up until you have some extra points to spend. And there, I believe, yeah. Basically chasing the Shadow Shaman back. He's camping his tower because it's only him. And at this point, there's three, there's three up top that are dropping down to mid. There's the Shadow Shaman down here. And so yeah, I get some hits on him. And as you can see, the Frost Air really, really slows. Ricky goes in for the kill. But he's, uh, he's hugging his tower, so Ricky can't really get the kill there. Uh, not the best last hits. So I have 13 last hits at this point. Uh, one kill and 1,300 gold, which is pretty decent being only five minutes in the game. Our team's up four. They only have one kill. And if we look here... Basically, I have a kill, Sniper has a kill, Lena has a kill, Chen has died, uh, Ursa is getting killed, which is a bit surprising. You'd think Ursa would be jungling by now. So here, I mean, beginning of the game is still a little boring. I see Shadow Shaman hit him here. I probably could have chased him, but... I didn't really Radiant's need to kill that great. I mean, he was Dyer's just going to go camp his tower. Is under attack. So here, fire a few more. Radiant's Ricky hits him with uh, with silence and Contract gets the kill there. Complete. So now Ricky has a kill. I have a kill. I got a Dyer's portion of the gold for that kill. So 1,800 gold. Six minutes in the game, 17 last hits, and uh, so we start start doing some damage to their tower here. Ricky Ricky fell back to base Dyer's bottom to tower uh, to get some attack. heals. I get targeted from the tower and eat a few trees. So. Like I said, uh, beginning of the game still, it's it's a bit slow, <laughs> but uh, definitely our team's doing well. I think they got another kill on us, so yeah, Bane on their team has a kill, and Lycan on their team has a kill, so Shadow Shaman comes down, targets me, and more Tango, trying to just keep my heal up, heals up until I can get enough gold to like start getting some uh so i hit him with gust there and shadow shaman targets me and at this point i'm just like all right like tango is not going to help me i have to run back so here i'm in the process of just kind of running back to base and picking out what items i want to buy so uh kind of really capitalize if you're running back to base take the time buy your items as you're running back don't wait until you get to base and then buy the items Radiant so, middle tower is under pick attack. up some power treads here, kind of going through, seeing what other item I want. And I believe, Radiant's yeah, I'm looking here, I want to build a uh, part of the Helm of the Dominator. Basically, it's called the Mask of Morbid, Radiant and it gives 15% life steal. And uh, 
so you can see they're pushing hard mid here and basically I was looking because I had 800 I know a mask of morbid's 900 so I could either wait or I could just kind of TP out here and try to get some kills so I get hit on Viper I might have been able to chase him down because I had the uh, the power treads at this point which gives me 50 to movement speed so I could have chained uh, could have chased him down I didn't that was a little little stupid on my part so I start running down because I see Ricky's down there Ricky at this point has been level six so he has alt and is invisible I see the illusion rune and uh, I send my one illusion down to kill uh, the shadow shaman I send the second illusion up to do damage to the uh, to the viper and I start heading down basically to gank the shadow shaman no! which my illusion actually no, gets the kill that. for that first, and at this point Ricky was it. like he's like dude like I can't Radiant's believe like you got the kill blah blah attack. blah and I was like dude that wasn't even me that was like my shadow and he's he's never really seen illusions used too often he's still pretty new and so yeah that was cool cool little thing I didn't see at the time because uh, so I hit up Gust here try to take out Lycan but uh, basically I didn't know that there's, there were absorbing wards down here so Ricky's kind of in a bit of a trouble spot but so Lycan starts pushing he leaves his tower, tower which leaves him open attack. So, I start kind of chasing him down with the frost arrows and get the kill there. Ricky gets the assist. So we're up. I got three kills, one assist with 32 last hits. So this is really all about beginning of the game. Just get money, get money, get money, get money. Because you're, as a drow, you're very item dependent. So here, he overextends. And Ricky with the uh, with the blink strike there gets the kill. So now Ricky is up. Ricky's got two kills, three assists. I got three kills, two assists. So me and Ricky are just kind of just kind of dominating our lane here. And we see their towers getting low. And as you can see, I screwed up a little bit. I accidentally put one too many on Frost Arrow, but. Here we have, yeah, we have a Lycan and a Bane TPing in. We have another guy TPing in. So Bane basically does a stun to me. And I turn around, hit him with Gust, and start taking out Bane. I could have probably chased Bane down, but Lycan was there. And Lycan would have just destroyed me. So I look, I only have 20 mana here. So I grab the haste rune and start heading back and on my way back i see viper has almost no health so i'm like okay like i have haste and just one bolt get the kill with viper get the gold that's two, <laughs> 236 gold and start hasting back to uh Dyer's middle tower is under attack back to base and here let's see what i buy uh buy chrysalosis and I buy the Mask of Morbid. So, the Helm of the Dominator gives lifesteal, armor, and damage. I'm really only after the lifesteal part at this point. Radiant's so, instead of spending the extra 1800 or extra 1000 plus gold uh, here, basically TP down and get the kill there. And I have to run back. <laughs> Basically, I'm getting destroyed by Shadow Shaman's alt. But I'm really only ever asked the ma uh, I'm really only Radiant's ever asked after the Mask Radiant's of Morbid tower has early game because that gives me my life steal. So basically, uh, with the life steal, as I keep if I keep hitting creeps, I keep gaining life back. So that alleviates me Radiant. having to carry Tango or something like that. And here we go, Lena with the kill there, 
burns, doesn't it? And so we're definitely we're doing good at bottom. I mean, they pushed our tower, but we both top we both got a kill out of that. And so now I'm up 5-0 with three assists. And now Lena's got two kills. So here, I believe I'm heading. Yeah, I'm heading up. Uh, <coughs> heading up to mid, because I see a uh, Radiance Middle Tower someone coming attack. in, which is that Viper. And so anyway, uh, basically getting the Mask of Morbid allows me to not carry Tango or any kind of heals, and I can heal solely off of killing creeps. Which Radiant is pretty great. And then I also pick up a Chrysalosis. I missed there with the gust. But here you can see just the power of the frost oh, arrow really slowing him down. Yeah, movement slow 60% whenever it's all the way up. So, Radiant's I mean, top tower you can pretty attack. much just chase down whoever you want once you have it leveled up. And I have gust leveled up all the way. So it's got a 900 range, 250 width. And uh, silences for six seconds. Also knocks him back for 0.9 seconds. So here, run up really quick to help out the sniper. We were trying to kind of save the sniper, but that failed a little bit. And the sniper died, but we still got the kill. So starting to rack in the gold here. And uh, got 1,700. Got 49 last hits, six kills, four assists, and a chase down like in here and get the kill. And as you can see there, I, I critted, and that's thanks to the Chrysalosis here, which basically, on top of adding uh, 30 damage, which is right there, it gives you a 20% crit chance and 175% crit damage. And what that Dyer's means is every is one in attack. five arrows is going to crit. And Dyer's that crit will do 200 of your uh, your damage here. So I'm doing about 200, about 200 damage. Plus the Chrysalis is doing almost double that. That's where I get my crit of almost 360, 370. And that's happening one out of every five. Uh, Dyer's basically top bolts, tower is under I'm getting attack. that crit of 400, almost 400. Here with the, uh, I'm starting to, I have two on my marksmanship, I have two on my precision aura, and I'm starting to level this up because uh, I have 73 agility, thanks to my power treads here. So this agility is allowing me to kind of give even more agility to other guys so there i get the kill ricky uh got away he still doesn't know how he's like i don't have no idea how that tower didn't kill me and so i see again ran out of mana and i'm like okay like drow's pretty much worthless without mana so i start heading back our team's up 17 10 15 minutes 16 minutes in and so I start looking at what to buy next. So that's another thing, like while you're running back, definitely just buy your items. So as soon as you hit base, you can turn around and run back. So I believe at this point, I'm after uh, the Daedalus. So I pick up the recipe. I already have the uh, Chrysalosis. And so I start basically running up to the secret shop and here's a bit of a noob thing is I'm just kind of, I don't even know what I was doing at this point in time, but I'm just kind of looking at the secret shop, not even paying attention to what's going on in the map. So I should have, I should have had this area selected and see what was going on at mid. So I pick up my Daedalus, which gives a 25% crit chance for 240% crit damage and adds 81 damage to me. So with that, every four bolts now I'm critting. So I come in and I'm critting for 634 now. So what was 3 360 is now 630. So it almost doubles the, the damage by picking up a, uh, a Daedalus. So definitely something to uh, pick up early on. They pushed our bottom tower here. 
Radiance bottom and tower has fallen. So I basically chat to the group. I'm like, hey, like I'm gonna head back. Otherwise, they're gonna start pushing bottom hard. And Ricky, you can see down here, Ricky's starting to come in. I'm over here, starting to drop down. Ricky hits him with the silence. And gets the kill there. I take the creeps out that are targeting the tower. And here you can start seeing the uh, the effects of the morbid mask. So I start basically just right in the middle of it, just start taking out creeps. And because of the life steal, I can kind of just sit and take out creeps without having to worry about my health going down. Also. Uh, with the Daedalus and the crit chances, it makes last Radiant hitting a ton better. So right here, I'm 80 Radiant's last hits in. Is under attack. And so with the Daedalus, you can basically just hit almost any creep, and your chances of getting a last hit are really Radiant's great. Top tower is under so attack. here I see they're coming in. Hit them with a gust to silence. Ricky hits him with even more silence. Ursa starts attacking me. At this point, I should have turned and ran. Because Ursa just went nuts on me. But I was an idiot and was like, oh, like, I have the morbid mask, like, he won't be able to kill me. Big mistake. So I buy back immediately. Because I see that they're still in mid, and I'm just like, if I buy back immediately, I have a chance of getting the kills, which I'll get the money back that I spent buying back. So they, they both ran, and we start chasing. Here's Bane. Bane comes up, sees everyone, turns and runs. And let's see, what do we do here? Yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. Uh, Ursa there gets the boots of uh, travel. So here, quick rundown while we hit some creeps. I uh, got still got the slippers of agility, got a Daedalus, got power treads, and got a morbid mask. As you can see, I still haven't built the helm of the Dominator, and that's because they're really at this point there still isn't much use for it. So there, I could have could have chased down the Viper, but the Sniper got the kill anyway. I got my uh, attack damage reduced here with the Enfeebable by the. Uh, Oh, who did that? Bane. Dyer's middle tower so here, their attack. tower is low. So we just decide, let's take that out. Dyer's so push their middle, middle tower. tower. As you can see here, the the health I get Dyer's back with like the morbid mask attack. is ridiculous. And I think that's where one of Drow's little OP things is: is once you Radiant's get Drow up with a data list. Some power treads, which uh, adds agility, which makes your attack speed increase. Plus, you get then the life steal on top of that. It's um, it's it's cheap. So there, I get the crit, and uh, sniper actually got that kill. But I got an assist for it and some gold. So here, taking out Bane, and Lena took that kill. So Viper. So here, basically, just destroy Viper with the uh, with frost arrows. Help Lena out. Take out uh, Lycan's wolves. So here, I have low health. Where normally you would use Tango or something, but with the life steal, I can just kill creeps. And uh, with the Chrysalis, um, uh, you can see there, I'm. Um, uh, basically almost one hitting creeps. So I try for that long, that long gust, trying to hit Lycan out here, but I miss him. Targeted by the tower and Lycan's wolves, so I kind of run back. And start taking out Lycan. So I believe I got the kill there, yeah. I got the kill there. Ricky got the Shadow Shaman kill. So here... Uh, basically, Viper came in and just destroyed me. I didn't see that one coming. I probably should have. So now I'm looking to 
build up a satanic Dyer's bottom tower at this point attack. or the finish off the helm of the dominator so i decide to uh pick up the helm of iron will which will finish off the helm of the dominator which gives me a little bit of armor and adds a little bit of damage so i'll be able to hit harder plus i'll have some armor because after getting destroyed that quick by the viper i was a little worried that maybe my armor was a little low i also uh pick up a yasha so get, this gives me 30 10 percent movement speed 15 attack speed and 16 to agility so <laughs> definitely a great item to have if you're a drow because it'll allow you to shoot a lot faster and basically once you pick up one of these it adds to your already ridiculous agility which using precision aura then gives sniper and lena an even greater amount of agility so here i got 111 agility and i don't uh what's this this is basically uh increasing range damage by 59 so this damage here is being increased by 59 to every ranged person out there like a sniper or a lena and so i got my yasha i have my helm of the dominator still got a circlet and my slippers of agility i mean there's no reason to get rid of them and they start pushing mid hard so me and ricky decide we'll do a little reach around so right here just take out viper three hits hit light or hit shadow shaman with a gust so he can't alt and get the kill there too or actually lena got the kill for that i got the assist so at this point i've died twice i have 13 kills and eight assists with 121 last hits we're about 25 minutes in our team's up 32 over 20. so we've taken out a majority of their team here so we start pushing and i think bane was afk at this point because he didn't put up any fight uh so with bane dead the last person is obviously ursa so i start heading up grab the invisibility uh rune and decide basically i'm gonna kind of taunt ursa into bringing him away from the tower so i hit these creeps ursa doesn't move so i'm like maybe he's afk like so i come around hit him with the gust to silence him and then just start taking him out with the uh with frost arrows and as you can see with with the yasha and the increased agility my attack speed is just nuts and so that's and uh so here we start pushing i see their tower is kind of low and i know i can take it out pretty easily so we take that out i get turned into a chicken and shadow shaman hits his alt i was trying to hit a gust before shadow shaman alted there so there i got the shadow shaman kill or I got the Viper kill and a Bane kill. I didn't get the Shadow Shaman kill. That was an assist. Kill them. I see my health is kind of low. So I start going after Creeps. Because with the Helm of the Dominator here. Kill Creeps, get health. So push their barracks. And uh, yeah, just start doing some damage. Yeah, at this point I'm level 19. So... Frost arrows, gust, precision, and marksmanship are all maxed out. Marksmanship here Dyer's basically gives you bonus agility. Radiant's so bottom tower has fallen. it'll uh, agility to a drow increases damage, killed. increases armor, increases attack speed, attack. and uh, increases points gained. So they start destroying our bottom, and so. Me and Rix are like, all right, we're going to head back. So we have Chen's dead and uh, Sniper's dead. So basically I come in here with Rix, hit him with Gust to silence, and then just Frost Arrow and down. And I see all these creeps. And thankfully, Helmet Dominator, you can see even by getting pummeled with creeps, I'm actually gaining health because of my attack speed so high and with the lifesteal. 
So here, I'm kind of looking at my gold, and I see he's trying to TP in, so I take out the creep, basically, before he can TP in. I hit the gust because I wasn't actually sure if I got the guy in time. So if he actually would have TP'd in, I would have hit him with the gust, and that would have knocked him out. So here, I pick up the recipe for the satanic, and so I sell my, my slippers to make room for it. And I sell my uh, my circlet to make room for a town portal. So I just TP up here to this top tower and start running in to, to grab my, my satanic. <coughs> and so the satanic, it builds on the helm of the dominator. So instead of 15% life steal, now I got 25%, which is just ridiculous. It gives 5 armor, 25 strength, and 20 damage. So with this giving me extra damage, the chrysalis, or the, not the, the daedalus giving me 81 damage, I'm almost in the, I'm almost in 400 damage. Plus, I crit for 240% every 4 hits. So I'm critting for 800. 800 damage basically, 800 plus damage every four times. So I see them starting to push mid, and so I just kind of get in here, hit everybody with a gust, take out the creeps, and I see them starting to run. So me and Rick start chasing. And let's see here, Lycan, yeah, hit Lycan with the. With the gust silence and then just take him out with frost air. So at this point, well. me and Ricky were like, okay, like we're fed enough that like let's just take on uh, Roshan here because I was after the uh, Aegis of the Immortals and I knew if I if I got that, I would. It's basically a GG. So I pick up the uh, the Aegis of the Immortal, meaning if I die. I immediately get resurrected. So at this point, it's GG for their team the because I, I have a Satanic, a Daedalus, my power treads, a Yasha, and now I just picked up an Aegis of the Immortal. And so, Drow's almost as unstoppable as a Drow's going to get at this point. And we start taking out the towers here. Try to hit uh, Shadow Shaman with a gust there. Take out the. Uh, this is why I was trying to take out Shadow Shaman because Shadow Shaman's alt is pretty well. It's a it's a good alt, and it can do some crazy damage. So Ursa starts coming in. Lycan starts coming in. I hit him with gust, and Bane's here. But I knew. Even if I died, I had the Aegis of the Immortal. So I just keep on Lycan. Lycan gets the kill. I immediately come back to Lycan, or life. Lycan's like, oh shit. And so I take out Lycan, take out Bane, start picking off Shadow Shaman's alts. And I get targeted by a million towers. So I start taking out creeps to get my health up and to push our creeps in a little more. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So, start taking out their towers. At this point, Ricky's dead, Sniper's dead, Lena's here, Chen is here. And so we start pushing their Dyer's towers. Middle tower has fallen. I get alted Lena's with a Viper, but at this point, it doesn't even matter. And take out... Take out Ursa, take out Viper. Dyer's and uh, Lena got the Shadow Shaman kill, so we just start destroying their uh, their ancient. Ursa starts coming down, so I'm just like, oh, this is a chance to get one more kill. So get one more kill there, and we push their ancient. So definitely a crazy game for me. I believe in the chat they even say like, good job, Drow. Yeah, right there, GJ Drow. So, uh, let's see, basically, uh, here, basically I ended it with 26 kills, 2 deaths, 10 assists, 
and I still had 7,000 gold in the bank. So I could have ran back and started building him even better. But at this point, it was we were just destroying. And my buddy here, who's playing Ricky, seven kills, two deaths, and 11 assists. So he had a good game too. And uh, that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Viper video, make sure you check that out. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next vi yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you.